Okay, uh, as I posted, I see that you already have quite a good idea what is the double helix, but just to uh, make sure that everybody gets it. So, I liked one analogy that you supplied. It is generally looking like the twisted letter. Yes. Uh, so, what are the horizontal parts of the ladder? The horizontal parts of the ladder, so these ones, are created by the bonds uh, between the nitrogenous bases. So we have these complementary nitrogenous bases that we previously talked about, and they are connected. Yes, so they hold together those two parts of the DNA. Uh, but in the DNA, as you already know also, we have also some sugars and phosphates. And those chains of sugars or phosphates are creating the longitudinal part of the DNA. Uh, we also twist it. This twisting, ah, of course I exaggerated a bit, makes uh, the DNA a bit more condensed. Yes, If you twist the rope, the rope becomes a bit shorter, obviously. Uh, but still we have some problem with such structure of DNA. The problem with such structure is that it's still too long. We have around 2 meters of the DNA. We have huge amounts of genes, huge amounts of information to be encoded in the DNA, so it needs to be long. Uh, because, as you already know, the information We'll get to this one more time, but just to make you, just to start you uh, about this. We, the information is stored as a sequence of the nucleotides. So, the longer the information, the bigger must be the DNA. And we have really a lot of information to pass. So, uh, the next question is how it is possible that we squeeze 2 meters of the DNA in our cells that are so tiny. 